Breast Cancer Statistics, a Gapminder video with Hans Riesling. Already in 1958, breast cancer was the most common form of cancer among women in Sweden. Look at my graph here. The vertical axis shows the number of new cases of breast cancer per 100,000 women. And the, the horizontal axis shows income per person. It was $11,000 at this time, 40 years ago in Sweden. And look what happened when Sweden started to grow richer and richer. Breast cancer increased. We got a higher proportion of women who got breast cancer each year. And researchers tell us it's due to a new lifestyle with higher caloric intake, less physical activity, and also changes in, in uh, reproduction and breastfeeding. Now, let me compare this with the rest of the world. I will here show you every country like a bubble. The size of the bubble is the size of the population. China down there and United States up here. And the color shows the continent. Yellow for America, uh, blue for Africa, green for Arab countries, and Europe is brown and Asia, East Asia here is uh, red. Now, what this shows you is that this uh, change in Sweden with higher income gives higher breast cancer, fits exactly with the general pattern in the whole world. This is what we are seeing. Now, what happens to these women now in the richest countries who get breast cancer? Do they die or do they survive? I will change the horizontal axis here so that it instead shows the proportion of women dying from breast cancer. The vertical axis shows the number of new cases and the horizontal shows the death. Now look again on the Swedish pattern. You can see as Sweden got more and more breast cancer, the proportion of women dying in breast cancer didn't increase. Obviously the reason is that a higher and higher proportion get cured. Today in Sweden, this decade, we have the data from 2002 for all countries, it's about um, 15 per 100,000 who die, whereas about almost 90 get cancer. Most of the women with breast cancer survive in Sweden today. And, and countries down here like Pakistan and Nigeria are estimated to have less than half the number of new cases, but they have even a higher proportion of women dying. This data from 2002 is the best available estimates by the leading specialist of cancer statistics in the world from the International Agency for Research on Cancer in Lyon. They are linked to the World Health Organization. And, and they made estimates from all countries. The little strange line here or bubbles lying like this, the reason is they have and for some countries where there are not enough data, they use estimate for similar countries where we know the proportion dying and the proportion who get the cancer. So it's an uncertain statistic, but the pattern is very clear. We have now in middle income countries with growing economy, about a billion of women who moves into a life situation where they will get more and more breast cancer. But the drama is they will not be able to afford the treatment. How can we make breast cancer treatment affordable for a larger part of the world population?